Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And much love, peace, and mercy to the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yashar. And this video is going to be entitled There Are Many Different uh, Different Fruits. Right? Um, oh, another precept just popped up. Let me see. Um, Salakia. So there's many different fruits, right? Um, in the scriptures, the first account of somewhat because uh, we we know that the Lord created the vegetation, right? The different fruits, uh, watermelon, mango, etc. But the Lord also uses uh, similitudes and, and, and metaphors, right? And uh, fruits can mean, uh, the word fruit in the Bible can have different meanings, right? And, the, and one of the meanings that uh, people stumble upon is the one in Genesis, the third chapter, when Eve was beguiled by the serpent, right? I'm not going to like break it down, but I'm going to go into it a little bit. I'm going to grab the precept. Uh, this is Genesis chapter three, and I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at the top. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord power had made. And he said unto the woman, yeah, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So what fruit on this earth do you know that 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 you can't eat is going to make you as a God knowing good and evil? This is not talking about a literal fruit. This is not talking about uh, apple. Right. This is talking about a philosophy. This is talking about a way of living. Right. Contrary to what was given to. Adam and passed down to Eve, right? The way of life, the breath. Verse six, it says, and when the woman saw the, tr uh, the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. So she took this philosophy, right? She took this doctrine, this way of life, and she ate it. And and when you eat something, right? Because there's a saying in the world, food for thought. When you eat something, that means you you digest it, right? This, uh, the Heavenly Father told Ezekiel to eat the whole roll. So in order to completely go off, right? Eve had to not only hearken to what the serpent was saying, but she had to do those things that were said, right? Those things that were contrary to what she was already taught. So instead of, of following after her husband, she followed what the serpent told her to do, right? And, and, and she ended up getting Adam to follow in that way also. And that was the fall of man, right? So um, let me grab this precept. Uh, let's see. Book of Proverbs. Proverbs. Chapter 18. Oh, it's like, yeah. Let me grab this one first. Proverbs 13. 
Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. So a wise son is going to hearken unto uh, instruction, right? Counsel. When, when your dad tells you, you know, you might not want to do this, or you might not want to do that, because I've been through it, or I already know what the outcome is. A wise son would take heed to that and say, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Right? And this is the point. Verse 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of trans of the transgressors shall eat violence. So this is a different type of fruit, right? This is the fruit of the mouth. So the things that you say, the things that you 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 um like uh praising the, that the name of the Lord, right? That that's a good fruit, right? Um a precept to that real quick. Then I'm gonna hop back. The book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 13. And verse. <clears throat> verse 15. Um, verse 14. For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. So we're looking for a city to come. Right? By him, therefore. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. So we give thanks to Yahweh Shem Yahshak, the Wadi Yahweh Shem Yahshak, Kayarachakodash. You know, we thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. We thank the Lord for this truth. We thank the Lord that we're not uh, uh, blinded. We're not engulfed in darkness anymore. The Lord allowed us to wake up and to acknowledge this truth. And to repent, right? So we, we give him thanks, and that's the fruit of our lips. Right? It says uh, uh, back in Proverbs 13 and 2, A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. So uh, it says the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. Only Israel can transgress the law, statutes, commandments. So this is talking about two thirds, right? Two thirds are going to eat violence, man. Because what? They constantly uh, 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 transgress the law, statutes, commandments. They're they're in um, uh, what is it? Uh, they abound in iniquity, right? Now I have another precept. Uh, but it kind of slipped my mind. So, like I say, there's many different um, there's many different uh, accounts of, of what fruit is, right? You can't just say, "Oh, we're just talking about just talking about some peaches, brother." No, you have to actually dive deep and think. Okay, what is this scripture saying, right? Can a serpent really tell a, a woman? That this is uh, uh, this fruit, this apple is going to give you power of gods, right? Like this is not a fairy tale. This is not fantasy, right? This is not a non. Uh, 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 this is not a fiction uh, novel, right? This is the Holy Bible, man. This is the truth. These words, the scriptures say that uh, the Heavenly Father's word is purified seven times, right? It's pure, man. It's clean. Right? So I got another precept. Dealing with the fruit. Right? This is um, Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Right? So... It says, beware of false prophets, right? Because they come in sheep's clothing. Verse 16, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So in this account, the fruit is talking about your, your, the, how you operate. What you do, right? 
the way you carry yourself, what what you say, right? Because a, a, a person can look the part. You can have your fringes, right? You can be calling upon the name of Yahweh Shai. But what doctrine are you preaching? What doctrine are you pushing? Right? You teaching that Edomites can make it? You teaching that you can deal with your woman on the Sabbath? You teaching that you should uh, carry weapons and be a, be a part of the neighborhood watch? Right? It says, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So, you will know them by their works. Right? You, you shall know them by their fruits. If you see men diligently on the highways and byways teaching this truth, right? Preaching the gospel, the 100% doctrine passed down from the, the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, hey, you know that's good fruit. But, hey, you can't, you can't expect cats from IUIC and ISUPK and all these different camps to bring forth good fruit if they haven't been showing you that from the beginning. And even Esau, man, you, you see this devil. You see everything that he's done up until today, right? All the way from back when we was on them slave ships. Look at his fruits, man. Look at what he has done. He's, he's in complete rulership of this world. And look at the estate of this earth. Look, look at this place. Look at the roads. Look at the sky, man. Right? You got GMO everywhere. Chemtrails. This place is falling. But then you, you, you know what I'm saying? Now you have to actually look at, look at this person's character. Right? Look at, look at the characteristics of an Edomite. A so-called white man. Right? Skimpy. Right? He, he, hey, he only cares about the sword. Right? Sneaky. They like, hey, the scripture, the scriptures call him a serpent, man. These devils are sneaky, man. They'll smile on your face and ha ha he he yeah, man, this and that. And go right behind your back and dog you. <clears throat> uh, Matthew 7 and 19. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Uh, fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. So... This is another account dealing with the fruit, man. The fruit of your ways as a precept to this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 21. And um, I'm going to start at 12. This is uh, the Heavenly Father talking to Israel through Jeremiah. O house of David, thus saith the Lord, execute judgment in the morning and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. Lest my fury go out like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Right? Evil of your doings. Jake was wicked, man. Jake was going off in the Holy Land. Verse 13. Behold, I am against thee, O inhabitants of the valley. And of and rock of the plain, said the Lord, which say, Who shall come down against us, or who shall enter into our habitations? So Jake was being proud, right? Hey, who gonna who gonna come down on us? Right? Who, who gonna walk up in our house? Verse 14, but I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, saith the Lord, and I will kindle a fire in the forest thereof. And it shall devour all things round about it. So the Lord said, I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings. So what does that mean? So whatever you whatever you think you got going on, right? If it ain't uh, according to the law, statutes, commandments, the Heavenly Father is going to judge you according to the fruit of your doings. That's why the scriptures say, um, uh, the book of Romans 
Present your body as a living sacrifice, right? Holy and ex let me grab it. <clears throat> this is the book of Romans. It's lucky. I'm trying to get this. Romans chapter 12. War, so these pages kind of sticking. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So, hey, that that is a, 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 a good fruit, right? The fruit of your doings is sacrificing your body. Um, um, and, and, and being holy, man. Present your body as a living sacrifice and be holy. That is a, a acceptable sacrifice, man. Right? When you stand on the highways and byways, uh, in season, out of season, you make videos edifying the flock, you fast, you pray. These are things which, which are... are Acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right? It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And the will of the Most High is to seal the elect, deliver the elect, destroy two thirds of the nation of Israel, and destroy America, Babylon the Great, and to establish righteousness. On this earth, under our King and our Savior Yahweh Shai, and all these things are going to come to pass, man. Once this devil finally decides to to uh, establish and, and and make mandatory his uh, mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, that's when everything is. is, is look, hey, once this chip, what? Because the scriptures say, uh, as uh, as he um, fills his belly, the heavenly Father will. Um, you know, roughly paraphrasing, a a before he, before he completely establishes new world order, the, the heavenly Father is going to send Yahweh shot back, man, with the chariots, the holy host. And he's through after that. No more Edomites in power. When Yahweh shot returns, not one single Edomite will ever hold a position of power ever again. Hey, call Halal Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I got one more precept, right? Because this is the most important fruit, right? The fruits of the spirit. Book of Galatians, chapter five. And uh, let's see. Chapter five and verse. I'm going to uh, start at verse I'll start at verse 14 Galatians 5 and 14 For all the laws fulfilled in one word Even in this Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself Loving your neighbor as yourself Is a, a, is a, a, a good fruit Right Because the scriptures say You shall know them by their fruits When you love your neighbor as yourself Right And you're not just doing Oh well if I do this Then the brother's going to look at me as if I'm a good brother. No, you do it because, hey, that's what you will want in return. Verse 15, but if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to, a, to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye, ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. And people will bug out when they hear that. Oh, I thought you said the law wasn't done away with. Da, da, da. Well, we keep the laws to the best of our ability. The scriptures say, rehearse the righteous acts. That's a good fruit. Rehearsing the righteous acts. Not eating pork. Keeping the Sabbath day. Not committing adultery. 
not being uh, uh, not coveting thy neighbor's wife and substance, etc. Right? Doing these things that 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 uh, we weren't doing in the world, right? When we were aliens to the Commonwealth of Israel, right? Doing these things now, that's good fruit. It says, um, uh, verse 18, But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, unclean, uncleanly, uncleanness, uncleanness, uh, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, uh, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So those are all evil fruits, right? Adultery, wrath, envyings, and murders, right? Drunkenness, right? Witchcraft, idolatry, those are evil fruit. And when you do these things, you, you, you sin against the Heavenly Father, right? And you ultimately, you're killing yourself, right? Your soul, if you are an Israelite, your righteous soul within you is dying, man. Verse 22, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against there is no law. And they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections of, and, and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. So those are, are, are um, fruits of the spirit. Right? Love, joy, peace, long suffering. Right? When you... Hey, when you uh, with long suffering, man. Hey, the Heavenly Father is long suffering. When you suffer someone, right? That's a good fruit, man. The brother, you know, might be struggling, might need help, right? And you know, brother, down and out, you loan him something or you helping him out, whatever. And you know, hey, at the, the brother might not be able to pay you back in cash. He might not be able to. Do exactly what you did for him at that moment. Right? That's why we show mercy. Because we, we, we want mercy from the Heavenly Father. If you can't show mercy to your brother, as the scriptures say, how can you expect to receive mercy from Yahweh Shai? So, this is verse 23. So, this video, I didn't want to make too long. You know, I just wanted to go into this a little bit. I pray this was edifying and faith boosting. Call Allah Yumla Allah Yanawa Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachakwadash. Double honors to the men of Great Millstone who rule well. Until next time, Lord willing. Shalom.